What's up YouTube, it's your boy Douglas Sam and today I'll be going over my uh, new printer I received. Uh, it's a Brother MFC-J825DW. Um, it's a new printer that I received and I think it's pretty cool. It's a Wi-Fi printer of course. Um, so you can print, you can do everything. Now it's an everything printer, like you know it prints, it fax, it does fax. Now, fax is not wireless. You, uh, well, you have to run a telephone line in there. That's the only thing you have to run. But everything else, every other function is wireless. You can scan to your computer wirelessly or laptop, or you can scan to a, um, a, a USB device like a um, flash drive or whatever have you. Uh, you can do your photos. You can um, scan a photo here and then um, send that to... Uh, your 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 laptop or desktop um, and of course you can make copies you can make copies of something and um, it'll come out right there oh I'm gonna put that back up but right now what I'm gonna show you real quick is um, how to print on a CD or DVD um, and I actually have one here right here oh, I'll show you how you put it in this is what it looks like like that I don't know if you can see it because not looking at the camera, you put it on like that. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to my laptop and I already have it set up, so I'm going to just hit print and see what happens there. I know a lot of you had questions on that. And the program that I use is called New Soft CD Label. New Soft CD Label. That's what it's. That's what um, it uses. All right. So I hit print. So I'm gonna come back over here, and I'm gonna show you how to open the tray. Let me push this back just a smidge so you can see it. There we go. Take the tray. Open up like that. Take this. See the arrows right there. Boom. That's how you know you're doing on the right side. There's a triangle, there's a marker right there. You just line it up. There's a triangle there, triangle there. They're lined up. And it says to hit OK. So I'm gonna hit OK. Boom. I don't know if there's a way to bypass all that OK stuff, but I hit start now. It's asking me to hit start. So I'm gonna hit start. And I should be doing it. See if I could zoom in and see if I can see anything. Now, also, I want to, glad I remembered, you, I would give it about four inches from the wall. I know, because uh, this is a heavy printer. I, I don't know how much, it weighs at least, I, I don't know. It's a big printer. It's like, I don't know, two and a half. PS3 Slim stacked up. That's how high it is. Or better yet, like the, the height of a flashlight standing up. So it's not as compact. It's pretty wide. It's wider than a laptop. It's like a laptop and a, a wallet <laughs> side by side. So it's not very compact and it's not something that you would want to... I mean, you could pick it up, but I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to carry this up the steps up and down three or four times. But... I mean, it is what it is. It's $99. You can print, uh, you know, photos, scan, copy, fax, print on CDs and DVDs. I got this for $99. You can't beat that anywhere. And plus, the the uh, the ink on eBay is dirt cheap. So that that those those you can't beat it. Can't beat it with a bat. So looks like it's done. So let's pop it out and let's see what we got. See, there you go, boom. There you go, so that's printing on a CD or DVD. Now remember it has to be um, uh, uh, printable CDs. It will say that on there, it will say probably inkjet print, uh, printable or something, it will just say printable. So you don't wanna just stick regular media in there and print because it will not do it, it will not work. So please don't do that. All right, so I just close my tray, push it up, boom. It's closed, see, closed right there. 
All right, guys, next I'll be talking about scanning and printing. Now, um, of course, uh, like if you needed to, well, actually, I'll be talking about copying right now. Um, say you need to make a copy of something. It's really simple. All you would need to know, open that up, of course, face down, not this way, that way. All right, load it in. Then, um, copy. Oh, gotta hit that, okay. Hit copy. Um, plain quality, blah, blah, blah. I could change the quality if I want, but I don't want anything extra. So I'm just gonna hit start. Okay. Don't quite know what's going on there, but let's see what it's doing. Ha! I blew it. It probably wasn't in enough. I bet that's what it was. So that was a fail, guys, but that's all right. We'll continue again. It says, please wait. So I'll wait till it's finished, um, doing whatever it's doing, resetting, and then we'll try it again. I didn't have it fed all the way in. I remember guys, you know, I just got this about two days ago, so I'm not that swift with it, but it should work now. See, there you go. And um, it's not the fastest printer, but it, it does the job. So right now what we're doing, we're copying this sheet of paper. See that? So it should look like that when it comes out. And already it came out. Oh, let me show you this. This is where it comes out. See, it comes out like that, right there. Yeah. Sorry for the angle, guys. So. Alright, sorry about that. So here you go. Boom, boom, boom. And copy. See? Yeah. Pretty much, pretty good. Um, no complaints there. Okay. All right, let me go ahead and close that back. Uh, okay. So now what I'm going to do, because I'm not going to get too much into this um, uh, printer, because it, it does a whole lot of crap, man. This is a great printer for the price. And like I said, I got it for $99. I think retail, regular. I think I saw it um, for 129 and that's still not bad for this type of printer. Because like I said, it does everything, man. So... But anyway, let's talk about the app. So here's my phone. Now this, the app is called, what is it called? The uh, iPrint, well just type brother. Type brother into your app store, whether you have a, a, a iTunes live, uh, thingy, uh, iTunes store, or Android market. A or B, doesn't matter. Type in brother printer. And you should, you should see the brother iPrint and scan. And that's what you'll download. And so these are all the things you can do. Photo print, PDF print, web page print, and scan. I haven't tried the scan, but I don't know. Well, I guess, yeah, if you were scanning something with the phone, you can print it. But I would just take that scan and put it in the printer. I don't, I don't get it. That's just lazy. Because Wi-Fi would only work within your house. So that means if I wanted to scan something in my room... I guess I can scan something with the phone rather than take it down now, but I'm not that lazy. But anyway, let, let's let's go to photo and print. So it, it brings up all your pictures. So I'm just gonna print something real quick. I'll print uh, my Galaxy Tab 2. I just, I took a picture of that. And all you do is you hit print. Boom, let's see. So you're already starting to load. So now it's gonna start print. Let me push this back so you can see it. I don't think you got a chance to see that before. So yeah, you'll see it come out now. And I mean, it's cool. And one thing I wanna, oh, I'll, I'll wait till the end to tell you that. <clears throat> I just have two more things to tell you. But again, go get this printer if you can. 
um, for the money, it is good. Now, if this was $300, I'd say don't get it. If it was $250, I'd say don't get it. But for $100 to $150, I don't see how you can beat this, this printer, especially um, how cheap you can get the ink for and uh, online and so forth. I mean, you just can't beat it. And it does give you a lot of software, even though I don't use it. Um, it, it gives you a lot of software, but I, I'm pretty basic. Um, like I said, I'm a DJ, and I, I when I make my CDs, that's how I do. It. Now, this is not, of course, this is not this is regular paper. It's not uh, photo paper or anything. And of course, now I would say compare this to a $400 machine, the print quality would probably not be as great. But again, you are saving about 200 to 300 dollars buying this machine so that is awesome I don't know how anyone can complain okay now before I go I want to show you this which is the stupidest thing I've ever seen let me move this up and it's here I don't know if you can let me see if you can see that see that there good you can see it <laughs> this is where you hook up the USB <laughs> Not on the side, not on the back, but some reason you have to open this up and it says USB. It says USB right there so you can see it. It's labeled. And then you take this and you follow the grooves and you can dig it on down and, and then close it. I think that's the stupidest thing. Now, the only reason why I did that is for my USB setup. I mean, my um, Wi-Fi setup because that makes it easy. You don't have to enter in any codes, any uh, passwords on your router or anything like that. Um, this will, it, it would, if you hook it up that way, it will do the trick. So I thought that was pretty cool, but it took me, I, I had to barrel back to the manual to find out how to, where to put the USB thing. I, I don't understand. Now on the side, on the side right down here, you have your, um, your uh, fax line, the telephone line there. Why that's not over there? Who knows, but I think that is retarded, brother. You guys gotta stop doing that. I think that's how it works with all their printers and stuff, but it's all good. Oh, real quick, right here, SD card readers, that's cool. You can print directly, I mean, you can print off SD cards and you can store information on, onto an SD card. Say I, I scan something there, I can put it like a picture. Say I have a picture from a, a, a photo, I mean, um, from a, uh, a studio. I scan it in there and I put it to the memory card and I put it on my computer. Or I can send it to my computer directly, but I would prefer, I prefer just putting it on a memory card and then doing it that way. It's quicker, I'll tell you that much. Um, so that's cool. What else am I gonna talk about here? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, and also real quick, that app, uh, that, that's for any Android, um, you know, Android uh, App Store or Apple uh, iTunes Store. So you can either or, it doesn't matter what you get, whether it's a phone, whether it's a tab, whether it's an iPad. Okay. Okay, the facts part I'm not going to get into. Um, I tried it once, it works pretty fine. Um, don't feel like faxing anything right now, but again, this is a great, great printer. Um, one other cool feature of it is, you know, it will turn itself off and I think in like two or three minutes. So it's best to leave it that way than turning it off because anytime you need to print something like that app that I just did on my phone, I can print anytime. So like one in the morning, if I had to print something, print off a coupon or from my phone or from any desktop, laptop um, in the house that's connected to Wi-Fi, I can print. I don't have to turn it on. It will turn on itself, print and turn off in two minutes. That right there is awesome. But anyway, it's your boy Douglas M, and thanks for looking at my review, and I'm out.